Thank you, Madam President. Madam President, uh, our Senate Republican Caucus has made Deputy Senate Republican President Pro Tem the title of Senator Wickos. I don't know how he's going to fit that on a license plate, but that's a whole other <laughs> issue. Um, and we're proud to have Senator Wickos, who for two years has done a great job, and I know for the next two years we'll continue that on. And with you, I'd like to yield to Senator Wickos, please, Madam President. Senator Wickos, with that big title, will you accept the yield? Yes, yes, I do, Madam President. Right. Thank you very much. And I'd also, I guess I'll offer a quad P and thank you to uh, my family members here today. Um, you know, my wife, Esther, my daughter, Kira, and her boyfriend, Nick, haven't missed a uh, inauguration. Well, my, I would say Nick wasn't there, the first one, because my daughter was only in kindergarten. She didn't have a boyfriend when she was in kindergarten. Uh, but they, they're up in the chamber. I just want to recognize them. <laughs> And, and my son, uh, Casey, he follows in the, the Wickos, uh, I think, family values. He couldn't be here today because a friend of his uh, is a freshman transfer from a New York university to a Connecticut State University, and he's helping to move into his dorm room today, so he couldn't be here. So um, a good reason why is to bring our students and keep our students here in the state of Connecticut. So I, uh, my remarks, folks, I just want to say it's so nice to see my colleagues uh, returning to the circle. Uh, after your reelection, to do the things that people want us to do, and that is to uh, improve the economy of the state of Connecticut, uh, allow businesses to grow in a more predictable, stable environment, and empower our residents to just succeed and endure as much happiness as they can. And as lawmakers, we have that unique ability to help create this environment in our state where opportunity can flourish. To do so, we must empower the people to pursue education, workforce development, self-reflection, and I think most importantly, to invest their time, energy, and love into our great state's future, that being active and interested in their children's future. Because we all have to look ahead together to build a better and brighter future for today, tomorrow, and for generations yet to come. To our new members, I say welcome. Your hard work and your clear uh, vision for prosperous, of prosperous Connecticut has enabled thousands and thousands of people to vote for you, to come and represent them here in Hartford. You are their voice. You are their reason for change. I implore you to listen, to learn, and act on their behalf. And today, you join a club of only 7,383 legislators across this great country we can all call home. And finally, to the Senate leadership, it has been a privilege and an honor to have served with you in the past, and I look forward to the future term, which begins today, to continue our work in a bipartisan manner. The 2016 election has provided us the keen opportunity to create history. Together, as equal partners in the State Senate, we must move our state forward and correct budgeting mistakes of the past. Together, we must protect our most vulnerable citizens through finding efficiencies and eliminating duplication in government, we must bring all of our ideas together to do what's in the best interest of our state and the people we were all elected to serve. Never compromising on our principles, however, we will still agree to disagree at times, but all the while we remember that we each, all of our actions, impact 3.5 million people in the state of Connecticut. And they depend on us to create an environment where businesses will grow, jobs will flourish, and they'll be able to keep more money in their pockets at the end of the day. We will focus on becoming a destination state for businesses, students, families, and visitors alike. And I promise to work side by side with each one of you as we tackle our state's deepest challenges this legislative session, because unity can build confidence, and confidence in our state is what we need to grow, to heal, and to thrive. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Senator.